two full glasses of some Hennessy. Oh, Jesus. You're going to walk over there. You going to change her? I had a dream she peed on me. Oh my gosh. I am so... I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Um, what's today? Friday. It's Friday and we are going on our first family vacation. Like our first family vacation together. Like my daughter's 10 months old. She's not been to like the beach. We've not gone on a like vacation. Um, with her yet so this is like her first one my little baby's gonna be in the sand in the ocean <laughs> of course being very careful and I have not packed nothing I have a horrible habit of waiting to the last minute to pack so if you feel me on that you know <laughs> give this video a thumbs up because that is real I be waiting to the very last minute and I should not uh, what else we got to do today? Also, I have a chiropractor's appointment today. Um, I have to pack for us. Some kind of way. Got to find a way to pack our pack and play. I got Goodwill bags in the trunk. So, I don't know how this is all going to fit. The goal is to be on the road by 7 p.m. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how this is going to happen at all. Because... Yeah, we got husband don't get off till six. I don't get off till six. And I'm working from home. And yeah. This is this is uh it's kinda close. I have no idea how I'm gonna make today work. But <laughs> you can you know watch and see how it goes. <laughs> hey you So, by no means is this like a regular routine, a regular get ready with me, because it's not. I certainly never have time to wash my face. I only have time to wash my face today it's because my husband woke me up earlier today. Woke me and BB up earlier today. And I have to be really quick because I'm like a thousand percent sure that she's completely blown out her diaper, so... That should be fun. something silly like that.
y'all. Look at her. She's like pulling all the tissue out. Don't pull at that. Oh. I pull it all over that. I pull it all over that. I pull it and pull it. I pull out that when I pull out that. Hey, hey, let's just get the tissue out of her. You stepped on that. Ah. Come right here. I ain't got any feet. What are you doing? <laughs> you need a bathroom, girl? It smells like you did. Your mommy, I ain't a, a little pamper chain. I ain't a, I ain't a pamper chain. I know she boo booed, right? Yeah. Yeah, I smell it. I knew it. I called it. Calling Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Uh, so I am super sorry, uh, but I forgot. I have a chiropractor's appointment today at 10.30. I just be forgetting. I be saying like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And then I just, I don't know. Maybe I just suck? Am I a bad parent? I don't know, I, I don't know what I be doing. Like, what are you doing, little bit? You just want to play with the clothes. Play with my extremely junky office stuff. Oh, Y'all should see this girl. Don't judge my office. Like I know it's a mess. It's 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 a hot mess. It's an absolute mess. And the crazy thing is, I've been cleaning it for months. Like not weeks, not days, months. And this is like, I've gotten it clean. Like, it's like a lot cleaner than it used to be. It used to be like boxes everywhere. And like, just random bags of stuff. Random stuff from like the garage. Um, from my mom's house. Cause like, she's like, you're officially like all into your own house. You can get your stuff out of mine. So all that stuff was like culminating in here. So, I mean, I've slowly gotten rid of it, but there's still, like, junk. Like, there's these boxes. That's my pump. I actually use my pump every day, obviously. And there's, like, stuff over here from, like, my college days that I'm slowly rummaging through. 
So it certainly is a work in progress. But she loves this office. Like, look at that. Loves absolutely everything about it. You talking to me, Lulu? Clap, clap, clap in your hands. You gonna hang up? I have to change. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. change. You look all cute and pretty. I want to look cute and pretty too. You sleepy. On top of everything, you're sleepy. Okay. All right. Calm down. Calm down. All right. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna get changed and hold her too. And oh my God, I look pregnant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm not, I'm just fat, I promise. Oh my goodness. Girl up. Girl up. This is like the day in a life. This is like an absolute real struggle that I have trying to get dressed. You know, because after I get her dressed and situated, she's kind of good to go. I work from home. And as much as I want to get myself dressed, I am not able to half the time. Like half the time, this is like real life. I end up in a bonnet still, a tank top, and I'm lucky if I can get some leggings on. Um, it's just, you know. This is what it is. My baby needs attention. Don't mind giving it to her. But oh my god, it's so hard. Oh, you know what? Sorry. Safety first. There we go. Yeah, so. Life is hard. But I'm, I'm going to show you when I get to a stoplight. I'm going to show you what it's underneath this bonnet <laughs> and then you're gonna you're gonna really know like the realness you're gonna you're gonna see it for real like it's underneath here is like a one week one week old twist out not a very good twist out might I add so it's extra crappy looking and frizzy and then when we are on our way to the beach today what I'm actually gonna end up doing is probably doing my hair in the car I'm gonna try to vlog little pieces of it. I don't have um, a car camera stand, so I don't know how good the footage will be or even if it's like worth showing, but I definitely <laughs> wanna show the struggle bus that I'm on because it's real out here. And like, I don't understand how these super moms be out here doing it. And <laughs> you know, I wanna be a super mom. I do think I am a super mom, but when you're like 
like me I guess this is like I'm a first-time mom I do still work full-time and so I'm trying to like be both you know good super mom and then like not a bum on a day-to-day -day basis which I kind of am like this this is this is not cute and my grandmother every time I drop off my daughter she lets me know like Kadisha you you're you're in a bonnet you were in a tank top you're in leggings I love the same clothes from yesterday and I'm like grandma not today not today grandma she means well but it's like it's hard out here like oh, oh my gosh super hard okay boom I perch in a light so I can show you like the hair okay So this little crow's nest of hair <laughs> and to think y'all I'm going to a chiropractor like oh my gosh I'm, I'm going out in public like this this is crazy um, why did I go this way this is what happens when like I'm trying to do two things at once. I went the long way. It's okay though. Long as we're on the highway. That's all that matters. But yeah, the braid out was cute. And I don't know if you can really tell on this lighting. It was cute, but right now it's just like, you know, a fro at this point. It's just like a fro. Like, and not even a picked out fro, just a fro. giving myself um Lauren Hill vibes like Loki maybe not as cute and as as intentional but Loki all right I'm on the highway now so I'm going to fix on the road all right so I've gone to the chiropractors got my back crack Oh my gosh, going to the chiropractor feels so great. Only thing is, like, I don't know. I don't think many people realize, like, how bad their spine might be. Like, as young as I am, I'm only 26. And apparently, like, there's already some degeneration. Um, just because our generation, we, like, stare down at our phones. Or, like, we're staring at laptops or staring at cameras. <laughs> and so, like, we are always like looking down a lot and like our postures probably not that great shoulders aren't exactly like level like they're supposed to be and so like apparently my neck and like the stress and everything is like really getting to me and like my neck oh my gosh specifically my neck is supposed to be like a c like thing and he's like supposed to be like 40 degrees i'm like negative five degrees and he's like the best we can hope for is like a positive 10 degrees like even with all of the adjustments and alignments like i think that is like cuckoo and oh my gosh like why does the lighting like so grabby but yeah so i went to the chiropractor now i'm about to drop off bb to my grandmother's only to have to rush back to get to work on time so we'll see how that goes Ooh, i need to get over excuse me and then sometime during lunch i'm going to have to like quickly pack and i have like all this goodwill stuff in like the back of my car so i have to take that to goodwill i don't know when i'm gonna find time to do that i have no idea how i'm gonna like make this 7 p.m deadline that i've made for myself like this is what happens when you wait to the last minute like this is really all on me i can't even blame like blame it on anything else like i can't blame it on my daughter like this is just what happens when you wait to the last minute like i kid you not it would not surprise me if we did not leave the house to like 9 p.m tonight which sucks because i wanted to arrive around that time so that way we can like eat hang out with the family so we'll see but we getting things done like we're not like off schedule yet when we get off schedule then i'll like let you guys know 
All right, again, back on the highway. Let me get off the camera. Hey, sleepyhead. Nah, you really not trying to wake up. Good morning. Hey. Hello. Are you sleepy? Oh, the sun's in your eyes. Is her pacifier here? Does she have one here? Because I think hers snapped off her shirt before we left. I have, yeah, I have one I use. I keep the spare. Her other, her regular pacifier is not here. The one oh. she likes is not here. Yeah. Grandma keeps a spare though. Are you sleepy? Yes, she is. Otherwise, she's yeah. trying to hop up out the car seat. Look at she looking like. Oh gosh, I just barely am able to survive. I'm barely able to survive. Yeah, we're vlogging today because it's our first family vacation. It's our very first family vacation. <gasps> This is a momentous occasion. Hey, Flintstone feet. Hey, get Flintstone feet like your mommy. Really? She got feet like her daddy. <laughs> he got them daddy's feet. <laughs> no. Nothing. That's my grandma, mama. Yeah, your grandma got Flintstone feet too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know how to check out. I haven't seen Antoine's feet yet. They do. They look like Antoine's feet. But, I mean, see, she got pretty feet. Like me. Yeah. Everything about me is pretty. Everything about me. Yeah. All right. Bye, you guys. Say bye, bye. So, one more thing done. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Do I have, I don't, I don't think I have time to go to, I think I'm going to have time to go to Goodwill. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Goodwill stuff. I'm pretty sure the only obvious thing to do is to put it back in the house, but that's like, ugh. But that's like almost 100% sure what I'm going to have to do is put it back in the house. So yeah, once I... You guys get back home. I'm going to put the Goodwill stuff back in the house because I'm not going to have time to do it because on lunch. There we go. The say, why can't I get my seatbelt on? But yeah, on lunch is when I'm going to have to last minute back. Now, luckily, I folded clothes. I folded, I, well, I washed and I folded clothes. So, I did laundry. So, luckily, everything is folded. I just have to, like, put it in the bag. And then, I'm going to also show you guys um, what I packed in BB's bag. Because her bag is all packed up. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't hard to pack for, really. Some onesies and, you know, some t-shirts. She's straight. But I will show you guys what I packed for her first trip away. And then I'm going to show you guys how I last minute pack for me and Antoine. Okay, so I'm going to try to pack really, really quickly. I'm on lunch break. And I have like all of these. Luckily, everything's pretty much folded. Like. <laughs>
purple bathing suit. I'm going to have to get her a, um, a swimming diaper, I guess. I don't have that yet, but I have that. I have this other one, this other bathing suit. I think is actually too big for her. I think that one's more her size, but I haven't, she hasn't tried on any of these yet. These are like new, so I just put that on there. So she has two bathing suits. She has like a onesie, just in case like the room is cold. Uh, it's long sleeve. She has these things. These are so clutch. These are like baby knee pads. Um, they're not like 100% the absolute best. Oh my gosh, she got like boot on these. So I might get another one. She has some clean ones that I just put in the dryer. So I probably will take these out. They come in a pack of five and they're from Amazon. I can't remember the exact like brand, but like I'll post a link um down below to like how you can get them but these are absolutely great they help her knees because she has like eczema on her legs so those are super helpful um like i said most of the stuff was already folded luckily i did laundry so these are just some like two of the same shirts same color i think they will go really well with her like um her shorts so that's why i wasn't sure which color um i can just like switch it out with the same pair of shorts these are her little pairs of shoes. Um, she has some white ones, but I'm going to use these yellow ones because, again, just to keep up with this um, theme with the shorts. Uh, and, like, I just pop them in there brand new, like I said. Some of these, a lot of this stuff is, like, brand new to her. Um, this is a cute little romper. Um, this is for, like, a towel. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't see myself like giving her a bath or anything, but like definitely if like we get in the ocean or something, like wishing her off in the shower because I do, I will like bring her in the shower with me to get her clean. So that way she'll have a towel. Um, and this is some of the stuff that I showed earlier: the onesie, the the um shorts, the cute little bucket hat. I threw some socks in here, like the socks that she threw in here. <laughs> Uh, I end up pairing them up. So like she has like a couple pairs of socks, even though I don't think she's gonna need them. And it's uh another pair of socks. And like this is like a cute little t-shirt to go with the shorts, and then like another romper. Like these are all backups. Like as you can see, like I overpack. We're only going for a couple days, but like I overpack just in case always. So yeah, just putting all that stuff back and oh yeah, swapping these out and her bathing suits. And yeah, like that's her first bag. I got this bag from Burlington. It's so cute and so big. So it's going to be like her little diaper bag. I got to put her pacifier in here. It is in the bedroom, but this is her full bag. And yeah, got that all done before lunch was up. So now all I have to do is get the car packed. Whew. So it's like, mm, it's like 2.15 right now, I think. So basically what I'll do is like when I get off, like I get off at six. So once I get off, it should be really easy for me to just clean out the car to take all that like goodwill stuff out the car and then quickly put in her um her stroller and then figure out a way to put in the little pack and play in there too I, I might skip out on the pack and play honestly i don't know how i'm gonna make that work or even if it's important so we're gonna see and then i still have to do my hair but definitely pack in the car first we will be on the road hopefully the very late is 7 30 because we're already going to be late but while i still have some time i gotta call the hotel let them know we're late for checkout we're gonna be late for check in yeah gotta let them know that so glad you're still with me hey i am back so i have just been looking rough mcguff all day and kind of embarrassed about it I said I was going to try to do my hair in the car and 
I don't actually, I have not figured out exactly what I'm gonna do to my hair. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna do twist out. I don't know if I'm gonna blow it out and just do a puff. Um, I just, you know what say. So, my mom is actually going to, because she's dropping off my daughter. So, my mom is going to come over. She's going to help me out, wash my hair. And like, I could wash it myself, but honestly, my mom washes it faster. I, I don't know. She washes it faster. And like, I kind of wanted to show you guys, like, without showing you, like, dandruff and stuff. But like, like, all of this. Oh my gosh. Am I able to show you this without showing you dandruff? Like, I don't even think I can. Sh oh my gosh. I don't even think I can show you this without showing dandruff. But like, I had, like, really bad postpartum shitting. So like, all of this right here is like so short because my edges all fell out and they're like growing back so sick. And like, that's great, but it like makes my hair sound so awkward. But now they're like so, so thick and they're not baby hair. Like, <laughs> it's like my hair growing back so thick, but so short right now. So. Yeah, also I changed shirts. Yes, I was like in a tank top. But now that I'm thinking my hair is dirty, so I'm probably gonna change out of this shirt. I'm gonna change out of this shirt. I'm gonna go back to my, you know what? I'm gonna just put on another big T and then that way I can like pre-prep my hair really quickly before I have to get back to my job and finish because I'm not off, I'm just on break. So yeah, I'm trying to do that real quick. Moment. Like this stuff feels like butter and it always like allows me to like get through my hair with like ease and like I'm gonna like let you like get real close and like listen and like oh my gosh I wish I was wearing my contacts like ah. I wish my first video wasn't me being like so busted like oh my gosh like this is like a real life hard day. Like things, you know, things just had to go on. The show had to go on, even though I look crazy. So, just trying to get through this. Because if not, Lord knows my mother is heavy handed. So I have to like get my hair have to get my hair ready and prepped and detangled because otherwise just go over my scalp out. happened to the camera but um yeah we're excited we're almost ready to go um maybe just needs to get his shoes and we're gonna bring her carrier slash little pack and play so that way she can sit it in the sand and then this one's gonna go in her car seat yeah in her car seat <laughs> mommy's watering our plants hey mama My mom's watering the plants for us. She's so helpful. <laughs> she said, Mama look a hot mess, but she don't want to be on camera. All right. Um, I'll probably film a little bit more in the car. And yeah, we're getting ready to go. We're getting ready.